Hi, this is Seth Denniston, Director of Technology for the Coeur d'Alene School District, and this tutorial is on using Code.org with students. On Code.org, you'll notice along the top there are multiple tabs to navigate. The first one, Learn, is more for students. It gives some of the different courses and lessons that are available on Code.org. The second one, Teach, gives information for educators on using uh, code.org with students. More about that in a second. Stats gives statistics on computer science in the United States. And then there's also how to help and about. In the top right hand corner, you'll notice a, an orange sign in button. If you click there, it will take you to a page and prompt you to sign in. For district users, probably the easiest way to sign in to code.org is using your district Google account. Each staff member has a Google account using your district email address. If you've never signed in before, your password is 123 capital P password, or you would have set this password previously yourself. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And now I am signed in uh, to code.org as well using my Google account. Notice in the top right hand corner now it says my name. Once you're on uh, code.org and you're signed in, you'll notice that you have a teacher homepage. There are several different uh, sections here. You've got a student account uh, and progress dashboard, more about this in a second. A course progress section, so if you're actually wanting to, to take some of the lessons you can. And then lastly, um, over here on the right, there's some lesson plans and resources. As you scroll down, you'll see some of the available courses uh, for you as well as your students. Course 1, 2, and 3 are each longer courses, uh, roughly about 20 hours each. And it says the recommended uh, grade levels. And then towards the bottom, there are uh, shorter, hour-long, uh, roughly, courses. You may want to take a look at the different courses uh, before you use them with your students. As I scroll back up, if I click on the student accounts and progress, notice that I have a, a spot where I can choose to add a, a new section of students. I'm going to click on new section, give it a name. And then I can choose a login type. There are three different types of login, um, simple word, picture, or email. Probably the easiest one to do is a picture login. You can choose the grade. And then you need to choose the course. So this is why it's helpful to check out the course ahead of time. Um, if you want them to do just the hour of code, you can, or the flappy uh, game. There's also a frozen uh, course, which some kids might find exciting. I'll do the Hour of Code one for now. Once you save it, you're given a section code, but then I can go in and add my students by clicking on the Manage Students link. You can either add one student at a time, or it's pretty simple to add multiple students. If you just find a class list and um, you can copy and paste it here. So I'm going to just paste my students' first names into this list and then choose done. Now it's got all of my kids uh, in here, my students. Um, when they first log in, they'll be asked to choose. They can also choose their gender if they want. They can also skip that part as well. And then notice that it says the, the secret, the, the picture is uh, automatically generated after I save. So as I save, I go back to my list of students here. I can have it show the pictures for each one of them. Or at the very uh, bottom, there's a link to print out cards with students' login information. That's probably the easiest thing to do to share with your students. 
Also at the bottom, there's a link that will get your students directly to the, the page to, to sign in to your class account. So notice that they it says welcome to their class. They choose their name and then their picture and then they're signed in to code.org and can begin uh, working on the course that you selected. Back on the teacher uh, home page, I wanted to show the cards that you can print out. When you click on that link, it, it just gives you a, a page with the link to your class page, the student name, and then their picture. So you can hand those out and have them for students to use when they log in. As they work on code.org, it will give you a bar graph that shows which part or which lesson of the course they're on. So this bar graph will advance as they continue to uh, work. If you have multiple classes that you're using, you can also quickly switch uh, between them up here at the top. I'm going to go back to the teacher homepage. Um, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to contact me or Dan Kirkbride. Either one of us can answer any questions you might have. Otherwise, um, happy coding and have a good uh, week of computer science education. Thanks.